If you like to enter smiley faces and icons, emoticons, you can do so on the iPad by adding an emoji keyboard. So to do that, you need to go into the settings. In general, in keyboard, keyboards again, add a new keyboard, and then you're looking for the keyboard called emoji and add that. Now I've got a few other keyboards in there as you can see. Now to actually use it. So anywhere you can type text, you can add add emoticon. So we're in the notes app and there's some text in there and I'd like to add a, a little smiley face just for a bit of encouragement. So wherever I want it to go, I'm just going to tap the keyboard to bring up the keyboard. And then there is a globe symbol down on the, the bottom of the keyboard next to the microphone. If I tap and hold that, it allows me to, to move between the different keyboards that I've added. So if I'd like the emoji keyboard and the smiley face tab, and there are five, I think there's six pages of emoticons to do with the body. So you can pick whatever you like. I'm going to pick a smiley face there, and it will immediately be inserted into your text. So wherever I want it to go, if I want it to go up here, I would use the magnifying glass to shift the cursor and put another one in and a space. So you can you can put wherever you like and whatever you like. Uh, it's not just uh, emoticon in terms of faces, but there are all sorts of different icons and emoticons in this emoji keyboard. So again, I just added something in there, another piece, dog, poodle, all sorts of things. And when you find something you like, so like the, uh, the globe, uh, it can go into the recently used ones. So I can sort of find it again. I want to delete it. Wherever the insertion point is, now I can no delete those three. Uh, what I like in the emoticon keyboard is that you can actually put symbols in. So if I wanted to actually draw attention to this paragraph, maybe I've got a two there. If that's paragraph two, there's paragraph one. Uh, or I could have some arrows some triangles it's just different symbols that you might make your text and what you're typing a little bit uh, easier to follow in terms of what I want to do here if I wanted to format that text uh, putting in those numbers it's just another way of formatting what you want to say and there's buildings there's all sorts of things here when you are tired of it hold the globe down again and switch back to whatever your preferred keyboard is and then you're back to your normal keyboard.